welcome to the Just Big Chwanoof. This is the channel where we do a little bit of things and do say stuff. Oh man, and we are continuing the 500 celebration for 500 subscribers, which we appreciate. And we've been suffering for our art by doing pumpkin flavored things taste tests. And we got some drinks over here in the corner here. And these are all pumpkin flavored. We got New England Cider Company pumpkin, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, let's go with this first because before I even drink it, I want to complain about it and say, hey, <laughs> we represent and we love New England Cider Company, Connecticut's hard cider, but guys, bro, dudes, cuz, <laughs> son, <laughs> blood. <laughs> We can't do five dollars a can. Come on, <laughs> like we we. Is I, it an energy drink though? Maybe that's why they're. It's oh, hard yeah. apple cider, <laughs> and I feel you trying to you know because we oh, love oh, Conne man. we're from Connecticut, but guys, five dollars a can. Come on, come on, come on. But we're gonna give it a taste test for New England Cider Company, Connecticut's hard apple cider. We represent Connecticut. We love Connecticut, and uh, in the they got a little measurement here as you see from. Sweet to dry, and it's number two over there. You see, you see, you it's see. It's a two on the sweet dry scale. So blended with pumpkin puree, pumpkin stands as a New England Cider Company's classic seasonal hard apple cider. A crisp, mm. semi-sweet cider blended with real apple juice, pumpkin puree, and pumpkin spice. Close your eyes. Take uh, come on. Close your eyes. Take a sip and experience autumn in a can. This cider contains no artificial sweeteners and is made to be a light drinkable. Uh, excuse me, made to be light and drinkable with great pumpkin flavor. Please enjoy with friends. You know what? We're friends. <laughs> so hopefully we enjoy it. And I'm going to do the instructions per uh, requested. We doing shot, shot glass? Because I ain't trying to get crunk in this mug. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a it's almost a clear, like they said, cider. So it's it's a hard apple side. I'm not mad. Like I said, the only thing, I, listen, I'm cheap, so I'm mad at the price. But other than that... We love Connecticut. We represent it. We try to support. So, is there a, is there a volume on here? The alcohol over here. In there the back. we go. Five point two. Five point two. So it's like a yeah. beer. It's like a yeah, beer. It's a five point two. Hey, you want a beer? Yeah. You want? You want it? Put it next to the Mike's hard lemonade. The smell. You smell a little bit of a uh, alcohol. A little bit of that cider. Hey, I'm gonna try not to get downwind from this because I feel like I'm, <laughs> right, right. I think I'm catching some whip for the hot chocolate. All right. I taste apple cider. <laughs> pumpkin cider. Once again, yeah, I, I'm not. I don't taste the pumpkin. Let me see if I get. Let me, let me try to do that wine thing, right? <laughs> I think you gotta make that noise. <laughs> try to aerate it. Try to aerate it. Yo, let it sit on the tongue. My jaws are blocked. <laughs> A <laughs> lock jaw on the titty. <laughs> um, as many other things that we have taste tested in this series, if by chance you watch them all, appreciate it so much. Please like, share, subscribe. I, I have to respect them not going overboard with the pumpkin, but then I also have to ask, where is the pumpkin? <laughs> where is the location? If you need a GPS for the uh, pumpkin, then um, it doesn't exist. I feel like. Once again, I've said this before. I apologize for repeating myself. I can myself. almost smell it, though. If if this was if this was a blind taste test, pumpkin would not come up. I would not say. Right. What does the instructions say? <laughs> to enjoy with a friend, and that's what we're trying here. Close your eyes and take a sip. Of you know, I'm sorry, I did not close my eyes. Here we yeah, go. That's what it is. See, that's I knew there was something wrong. Yeah, here we go. Let it coat the palate. It feels like fall. I mean, I feel like I'm outside and I should have a light jacket on. If by chance I'm outside playing football, you're gonna get the red face, you're gonna take off the jacket because it's too hot once you start to get moving. But, this is uh, less to be desired. I don't taste the pumpkin, man. I taste, I, you know, and I like apple. It does not taste bad. I just don't taste pumpkin. And I, I don't, I'm not a big cider. I like, like apple cider. I could drink like a, mm. a cup a year, maybe. I'm like that with eggnog. Give me a cup. Yep. I take some. Yeah, I, take, I, take, I take a cup. I'm good. I don't need a bottle. I don't need a fucking jug. I, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't need that. Give me a cup. All right, boom. I experience yeah. the season. I'm not mad at you, but it's not for me. I don't. It, I'm, I'm, once I'm, again, I'm mad at you. I don't. Once again, drop the price. Come on, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Five dollars for a can. Come on. That's for your fucking beer snuff. All right. The next joint that we got here, employee-owned harpoon. 
Duncan Pumpkin. They're used under license. Okay, so they did get a license for it. The Duncan trademark logos and trade dress are the property of DD IP holder LLC used under a license. So they did get permission to the, 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 the rock with Duncan. I would hope so, because that's a risk. Dude. I know. It's like you took the <laughs> color scheme and the fucking everything, the font. So this is, it's once again, 5.2 alcohol. This over here. That's just a warning. Don't drink it when you're pregnant. The harpoon is a beer you know of. I've seen this. I've heard of it. Before, yeah. Ale brewed with lactose, cinnamon, and pumpkin puree with coffee and other natural flavors. Okay. How do you smell? How do you smell? Yeah, what we got? Almost a coffee, I feel like I smell yeah, a little. Yeah, it's the coffee in there I'm smelling. I don't, I don't. So, looks like a lighter color beer, would we say? That'd be more of an amber. I think that's a medium, it's right? Like a medium. It's not a dark, like but a it's gold. not a... It's like a gold, right? It's not, it's not a coarse light, I'll tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's... All right. It's when your doctor yells at you when your dark's too... When your piss is too dark. Like, bow. Ooh. I taste the coffee in it. I definitely taste the coffee in it. Yeah. I hate coffee, so I'm all done. Um, is it supposed to be a pumpkin coffee? This shit says Duncan Pumpkin. <laughs> so I would hope that the it, that makes sense now that we say it. Because it says, yeah, once again, brewed with cinnamon, pumpkin puree with coffee. And uh Yeah, I taste I taste the coffee is strong. If you told me that this was just pump uh excuse me, coffee beer, then I'd be like, yes it is. I don't like it. Which I don't like coffee too much, so you're gonna always get that from me. Yeah, I, I taste coffee and beer. Once again, I will be the broken record of. I respect you for not putting too much pumpkin, but then I have to ask. We on a hunt. We on a hunt right now. What are we doing right now? You motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little hype, okay? Get a little hype. A little bit, man. It's not the alcohol, because I didn't drink that much. Yep. It's just fucking All right, well, pissing me off. Ugh. So. We have three more drinks left, and two of them are coffee. So let's just. We got four. Cause we got. Our, we got four. You, you are correct. So let's just barrel through these coffees. Yeah. Then we'll get to the. All right, this one here, Rebel Hard Twelve Fives Rebel Hard Coffee Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice Latte Malt Beverage with Natural Flavors and what? Arabica beans to Arabica. make the grade. <laughs> Pick one up, and the day is made. Arabica. <laughs> All right. So this is supposed to be. Let's see once again with the. Uh, oh, it contains milk. Mmm, milky leche. And also, in good, España, good, uh, it's leche, it's leche in España. Shake well, it says, that we have not done. Mm. So, shake well. well. I don't think we should do that with a beer, but this this is okay. Yeah, yeah, this one says shake well. We'll give it a little... All right, all right, all right. It sounds like success. I smell pumpkin, finally. For one of the first times ever, I smell pumpkin. Yeah. I smell some pump, right? There it is. There we go. It lives. This is a latte, right? Hard coffee latte. Hard coffee latte. So there's alcohol in it and there's coffee in it. Oh, it's a hard joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I not hear that? I did not hear that. This is hard in the yard. Like a brother named Gerard. Aladdin Jafar peanut butter color car. It doesn't mm. say, yeah, because it doesn't say really what kind of, but it says malt beverage, the, but hard coffee. And I, and I got it at the liquor store. Yeah, 5%. Warm and spicy. Even though it's a cold drink, warm and spicy. But... Gives me faith because I smell the liqueur you in it. Fell. All right, let's try it out. Like a pumpkin eggnog. Like a pumpkin eggnog, and almost like a, a dare I say, a hint of mint. Is there a, a lightness in there? Almost like a, a tail end of mint. Yeah, I got to. It feels light at the end, right? Like if you eat a thin mint, that aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, so out of these three, I rock with and this. And I don't even drink coffee. I, I, Same I here. I don't really like the flavor of the coffee, and this doesn't have a barren coffee flavor. And I like that, like that. Like like, so I said, reminds me of a fucking eggnog. It's got yeah, the, they got the milk the in spice. it. Yeah, that that rum, spice rum kind of vibe. Mm. I fuck with this. This is all right. Hard rebel. coffee. Doesn't you want to be a rebel? Get that fucking rebel. Sorry. It looks like it doesn't say how much uh, uh, um, caffeine is in it, but. Mm. Hey, I'm not mad at this. This would be good with like, you pour yourself a little bit of it, have the pumpkin pie, take a sip on this. Right. Nice. All right, well we, we fox with you at 12.5. Yeah. Yo, the brown bomber, uh, to a certain, I would I wouldn't buy it, but I, I would I would taste it. 
Exactly. <laughs> I'm not gonna because I don't I don't really drink alcohol anyway, so I'm not gonna right. go out and buy it. But uh, it's that, not in my cup. That, that we've had it right now, I'm not mad at. It. It's not going to my fucking liquor cabinet. You better believe that, nigga. It's not going to my fridge. <laughs> Fuck you, gay. All right. Now, if you've been watching what we've been doing here on the Just Big Channel, where we do things, say stuff, drink stuff, taste stuff. Mm -hmm. You've talked about suffering for our art. Now, me, as a poor black man raised in the hood, <laughs> I shop at the Dollar Tree. And as we've gone this past month, each of us looking around, at the Dollar Tree I saw the pumpkin spice iced latte chilled coffee drink. There is no alcohol in this one, but... It is from the dollar store, so I, you know, we're, we're not we're not here to trick nobody. We're here to, it's a, and it's not the dollar store like your family. It's Dollar Tree, man. Yeah. So it it's the, the store where everything really is <laughs> a dollar, <laughs> a real dollar store. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Listen, I got this water from the dollar store too. So let's. Yes. Uh, There's nothing wrong with them niggas. I love with the, whoever thought of that was a genius. It's there, in my opinion. I don't mean to change anyone else's mm -hmm. opinion, but it's there. Mm -hmm. I'm with it. I'm riding it. I'm riding the wave. Azuzu. All right. All right. There's no alcohol, just a latte. <sighs> Sniffing and whip it. Sometimes you gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta like just hold down one nostril to get in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like doing a line. <clears throat> <laughs> With the brim. <laughs> I got some pumpkin spice if you want to lay out some lines. You let me know. <laughs> Once again, I feel like there's a mint in there. Like a... Maybe this is the after flavor they have with it. Oh, that's the multidextrin. Oh, it's gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> True. Multidextrin's like a mint. <laughs> I don't love it, I don't hate it, but I would say it doesn't taste like it came from the dollar. Like, if you yeah. drink lattes, then if you drink lattes, you probably like it. You might like it. I hate it. But it's, yeah, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> it's not for me. It's, um, flavor's okay, I guess. Oh, get away from me. Man, next time we do a taste test, we should do stuff that we actually like. <laughs> when we hit a thousand, maybe we'll, we'll do all watermelon taste tests. <laughs> oh, uh, so yeah. You know it's good. Get us to that Gino. We watermelon mm -hmm. up, good. <laughs> all right, and this one. 99 cents me, I bought yesterday. Let me cap this for the funk escapes thing. <laughs> this is a, this is Mr. Stax Le Croix. Mr. Mr. Stax, Stax Le Croix. First of all, Mr. Stax sounds like a porno name. True. Just, just to put it out there. <laughs> that should be a pancake fucking house. Like, instead yeah. of chips, have it huh? Mr. Stax. Mr. Stax. If y'all want to take that and open up a pancake house and name it Mr. Stax, please do. Please give us the head nod on that. So this is a pumpkin spice <laughs> Le Croix. 25 proof, 12.5% alcohol, and the girl said it was good. When I bought it, she said, oh, that stuff's good, I've had it. <laughs> All right, cool. Was she down with the cause, though? Was she, looked, was she looked like she was down with the pumpkin cause? She was white, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we discussed it's not all whites like it, but was she that cause <laughs> of the whites that do? Mm. Hmm. I can dig that. I smell like uh, almost a caramel in there as well. I smell it. I smell it. It's there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's wafting. Ooh, and it even it stick. It sticks to the sides. It's like milk. It's a, the body yeah. It's a, All right. It's remnants coating. Ooh. It's sharp. Oh, shit. It's sharp. Yep. There's Egg, alcohol in that. Eggnog with alcohol. Which I kind of am a fan of. When you use that. For those that want to try, for yo's, for those of you that want to try something different this winter, this holiday season, if you've never tried it, it's not a new thing. Hennessy and eggnog mm. will set you free. Do what I'm saying. Spoken from a black man that don't like pumpkin. But once again, you slid it to me. I, I don't taste pumpkin. It's 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 I almost do. like eggnog. I taste. I, I, I taste I, cinnamon. Is that what it, I feel like the spice is in there? The pumpkin spice is there. It's 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 in the background. It wants to be a part of the front group, but just don't have what it takes. <laughs> if you're into like the creamy liquors too, like into those fucking uh, mm. um, castle cream type shits, and yeah, uh, what's the other one? Kahlua. Kahlua. Yeah, this 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 would probably go good. Bailey's. With something. Right, Bailey's. This would go good with something like 
those ice and something else. You yeah. know, you could pour that on top of a little bit of vanilla ice cream. Right. That would be a treat at the Put end a of the night. Cinnamon garnish in there. You know what I mean? All right, so we have made it, and we have. Um, it's been a. It's. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. And unexpected. We just tried four different types of alcohol. Um, yeah. Not buzz. Three different types of no. coffee. If it tasted really good, we probably would be buzzed, but it didn't. <laughs> didn't pull. It didn't pull. It didn't, it didn't. I think my body feels more confused than anything right, right now. They were like, like, "What'd you, you nigga? Just was pushed? you just attempting something? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just try to pull a move? What, what was that? What was that? Were you trying to get a little buzz in a weird way, nigga? <laughs> I know you. I know we ain't used to that. Right. Put that shit in me. I don't know you, motherfucker. All right. So Swiss Miss, trusted brand. Swiss Come on. Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss. No artificial sweeteners, preservatives, flavors, it. or colors. I smell it, bro. Yeah. And was it uh, was it Trey Songs that said, "We take it to the head." All right. So here's the last drink. Hold that up real quick. Last drink. Let's give it a cheers. cheers. Thank you for the 500. Thank you for joining us. Five, oh, oh. Let's go. Keep toning in, Pumpkin man. spice. Fuck. Oh, wait for it. Is it there at the end? I feel like I taste it a little bit. Is it just my palate fuck over me? There's definitely something different here. You would never, you would not think this is regular hot chocolate. But would you identify it as pumpkin? I'm so fucking pumped up. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm all pumping up. I don't even. I know. think my my taste buds are like. Can it's, you it's, fucking chill? It's, it's pumpkin overload at this point. I think there's pumpkin in it, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, I tasted that thing though. I think I do. I feel like at the end it's sitting there. When, when it first goes in, it's hot chocolate. It's chocolate. And then I feel like it's like, oh shit, yo, I forgot something. Let me come back. It's gotta lay down in the clouds, settle. Mm. And uh, this guy right here. Right there. I don't know. I would definitely not choose it over the one with the marshmallows. Ooh. But, uh, <laughs> if you're looking for your pumpkin fix, once again, this is not your fix, I'd say. Yeah. You want to just try it? it just, the dry package smells like a caramel. It's like... Yeah, it's more... Like I said, It's like me, a Rolo or some if shit. You, exactly. If you told me this was like a caramel brownie uh, hot chocolate, I would be like, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's it's more right. of a... Maybe the people that make this shit know that we really don't want pumpkin. <laughs> but we like the idea of pumpkin. Right. I guess I'm just trying to uh, trying to help them out. I don't know. <laughs> help all you pumpkin connoisseurs out. Yeah. We don't want to shit on you totally, but hey. We chase no pumpkin. You know what what the just, fuck do we say? Just get your pumpkin on and do it the way you do. If it makes you feel good inside to believe there's pumpkin, even if you don't taste it, who the fuck am I? Maybe there's just there's pumpkin in your heart. How about that? You know? But there's pumpkin in your heart. Nothing else will tear you apart. Ooh! This is just dark and here. if there's pumpkin in your mind, everything's fine. Oops! Nigga, I ought to fucking put this in your face. Oh, yeah. So, once again, this is a Just Big channel. We appreciate you joining us for our taste test. And you see in the back the 500. And you know what? You thought you made a mistake. You thought you did something. But 500 is climbing. That's what it is. It's boom, it's boom, it's boom. We're going up. Look, one, two, three, all the way to 500. Appreciate you, niggas, all one by one, man. Individually, individual love, man. Mm -hmm. Keep, keep, you know, give us, uh, give us some uh, comments and likes and, uh, and, and share these contents with your friends and on top of friends, you know. Let your friends know that there is interracial YouTubity happening, okay? And they're trying pumpkin products. That might, maybe we'll label it that way. Black man, white man tries pumpkin products. <laughs> Unity or confusion? Both. And that's what we do here am I still doing that? on the Just Bake <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> and that's what we do here on the Just Bake channel. We appreciate you for joining us. This has been the Just Bake channel where we do things and don't forget to say stuff. Thank you very much for joining us. We are also tasting stuff. Tasting. We out. Mm. Next week we try ass.